Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. The Riga conference is now nine, but for the first time we meet on the left bank of the river Daugava in our new li uh, national library. I am very proud of this beautiful building and its contents. Three, uh, three weeks ago, together with Prime Ministers of Estonia and Lithuania, we came here to mark 25 years since the Baltic Way. Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia joined hands in 1989 to show the world that we want to regain our freedom. We achieved our goal. Then we set our, our aim to join EU and NATO. Again, we achieved our goal. Yet, membership of NATO and the EU is not an end in itself. It is a platform for implementing our values. Freedom and security needs constant attention. Not only our region, but the whole international order has been shaken by Russia's ag aggression in Ukraine. This has been a key theme of the recent NATO summit in Wales and of the frequent meetings of the European Council I have attended. Both the US Vice President and the German Chancellor have assured me that Article 5 of the Washington Treaty is a firm guarantee. President Obama said the same uh, some weeks ago. Yet NATO is based on mutual commitments, so Latvia has put into law our commitment to reach a defense budget of 2% of GDP by 2020. The establishment of NATO's Strategic Communication Center of Excellence in Riga is also timely. Events in Ukraine have been a wake-up call for politicians and get real about collective defense. They also, they also point the, to the importance of the EU's Eastern Partnership Policy. We offer to all the partnership countries concrete, far-reaching support for reforms that bring them closer to the EU. Latvia has the experience and understanding to bring this policy forward during our presidency of European Council next year. I am, I am especially pleased to welcome to Riga as the Secretary Gen General of OECD. We had a good discussion today, <laughs> today about Latvia's progress towards OECD membership. Here again, membership is not an end in itself. It is a catalyst for adoption of best global practices in economic and social policy. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a full and pre uh, pressing agenda today and tomorrow. So let me end on a hopeful note. Back in 1939, the poet Edward Swirza wrote, this summer, time will not run in its usual ways. Like Shovasar, Vaisnias, Vatsas, Sliedes. It was a dark warning. In 2014, time is again not running in its usual ways. NATO and EU member states can and must work together to defend our common values. Governments cannot do this alone. We politicians need dialogue with you, the experts. I'm sure the Riga conference will generate good ideas and overcome the current challenges. Thank you.